far as, as uh, Psalms go. So I was really impressed this week. Um, we should always be praying. I, I know it says pray for the peace of Jerusalem. So we should be praying for Israel because it's Israel's the center of the world. I'm sorry, but Israel's the center. And we're the furthest, from, we're almost the furthest from it. So, okay, because we can go either direction and get to Israel in about the same amount of time. So, Israel's the center of, it's the apple of God's eye. Israel, that's, that's his land and his people, all of it. Not just the part that the world says they can have. Okay, so it's always about Israel. So I was impressed to look up um, where in Psalms Israel is spoken. It's, it, this is going to be our psalm and a prayer for Israel. Okay, all right. You are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. You who fear Adonai, praise him. All descendants of Yaakov, glorify him. All descendants of Israel, stand in awe of him. God, redeem Israel from all their troubles. Blessed be Adonai, the God of Israel, from eternity past to eternity future. Amen, amen. If only salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. Oh, it did and it is. It's coming. When God restores his people's fortunes, what joy for Yaakov, what gladness for Israel. For no fault of mine they run and prepare, awaken to help me and see. Oh, but does he ever sleep? No, it's from my perspective. God, are you sleeping? <laughs> what are you thinking, kid? Right? Right. When God restores his people's fortunes, what, what joy. You, Adonai, Elohai, Zeva'at, Lord God of hosts, right? Of Israel, arouse yourself to punish all the nations. Spare none of those wicked traitors. They see your processions, God, the processions of my God, my King in holiness. The singers are in front, the musicians are last, and the girls with their tambourines are in the middle. What does that tell us? When we go out to war, what did they always do? They were led by praise. Praise is our weapon. Praise, he inhabits the praises of his people. In his presence is fullness of joy. In his, in his presence, in his, how do we get in his presence? By praise, okay? Praise and worship are different. Because when I stand in awe of worship, if I know what's good for me, I might just keep my little mouth, big mouth shut. My little big mouth shut. But in praise, there is joy and singing and tambourines and dancing. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. He inhabits the praises of his people. Okay. In choruses, bless God. Adonai, you who sources Israel, to him who rides on the most ancient heavens, listen as he utters his voice, a mighty voice. Acknowledge that strength belongs to God. All it's not by our power or our might, right? But by his spirit listen as he utters his voice a mighty voice acknowledge that strength belongs to god with his majesty over israel and his strength in the skies how awe-inspiring you are god from your holy places the god of israel who gives strength and power to the people blessed be adonai right praise glory honor adore him all the things that blessing means God, you know how foolish I am. Right here. My guilt is not hidden from you. Let those who put their hope in you, Adonai Elohim Zavaat, not be put to shame through me. I thought this one was interesting. God, you know how foolish I am. My guilt is not hidden from you. What's the very next thing he says? Let those who put their hope in you. My, I'm foolish. My guilt. But yet, I hope in regardless of my humanness, regardless of my faults, regardless of my sins, regardless of my, regardless of me, myself, and I. Blah, 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 blah. And everything that goes with me, myself, and I. Regardless of that, I acknowledge my insignificance, my 
my errors, my faults, my selfishness, my self-centeredness, my failures. But I hope in you. Let those who put their hope in you, Adonai, Elohim, Zavaot, Lord God of hosts, not be put to shame through me. Don't let me cause you shame. Don't let me, those who are seeking you, God, the God of Israel, don't, don't be disgraced through me. Don't let me bring you shame. Don't let me repel people from you. Ah, and you know, we're so good at doing the exact opposite. Just in case you want a reference, that's Psalm 69. It's a good one. You have made me see much trouble and hardship, but you will revive me again, and you will bring me from the depths of the earth. You will increase my honor, turn and comfort me. Think about Israel, okay? Israel as a people, Israel as a land in us grafted in. As for me, I will praise you with a lyre for your faithfulness, the instrument. My God, I will sing praises to you with a lute. O Holy One of Israel, my lips will shout for joy. I will sing your praise because you have redeemed me. All day long my tongue will speak of your righteousness. For those who are seeking to harm me will be put to shame and disgraced. Not those seeking you. Blessed be Adonai, the God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Who alone works wonders. Who alone works wonders. Don't go and look at a building and go, isn't that awesome? No, it's not. It's crafted by man's hands. How could it possibly be awesome? Oh, it's beautiful. It's nice. It's pretty. Wow, that took talent. That, well, I couldn't imagine how you could put all that together. There you go. Okay. But looking at when I was in the land, I, I didn't care about the buildings. I wanted to see his land. I wanted to see his people. Not a building over a spot that they think might have been. Okay. Blessed be Adonai, God, the God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Blessed be his glorious name forever, and may the whole earth be filled with his glory. Blessed be Adonai, God, the God of Israel, who alone works wonders. In Yehuda, Judah, right? God is known. His name is, where do you get Jew from? There you go. The term Jew comes from Judah. So we call them all Jews, but they're not all out of the tribe of Judah but they're all Israel. But, okay, it's an identification of who they belong to. Okay. You are glorious, majestic, more so than mountains of prey. At your rebuke, God of Yaakov, riders and horses lie stunned. You know? He'd, like, open, their, open his eyes so that he can see that those that are with us are more than those against us. Whoa! If we could only see with spiritual eyes, we'd be going... What scripture is that? that? Or was it Elisha? Elisha? Telling his servant, you know, when the enemy was coming, and he was like, well, uh, open, his, open his eyes so that he can see. Right. Okay? Those who are with us are greater than this army of chariots and horses and fighting men coming against us. Wow. Shepherd of Israel. Who? Shepherd of Israel, listen, you who lead Yosef like a flock, you whose throne is on the Keruvim, the angels, the cherubim, shine out. God, restore us. Make your face shine and we will be saved. God of armies, restore us. Make your face shine and we will be saved. Adonai, God of armies, restore us. Make your face shine and we will be saved. You see, that one Psalm, Psalm 80, it repeats itself several times. Restore us. Make your face shine and we will be saved. Hear my people while I give you warning. Now, this is actually from God's point of view now. Israel, if you would only listen to me. If you would only listen to me. There's not to be with you any foreign God. You're not to worship an alien God. I am Adonai, your God. That's the first commandment. I am God, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Those who hate Adonai would cringe before him while Israel's time would last forever. They would be fed with the finest sweet, and I would satisfy you with honey from the rocks. Wow. A psalm. Sing a new song to Adonai because he has done wonders. His right hand, his holy arm have won him the victory. We know this one really well. Shout for joy to Adonai, all the earth. Break forth. Sing for joy. Sing praises. Sing praises to Adonai with the lyre and with the lyre and melodious music. 
with trumpets and the sound of the shofar, right? Shout for joy before the king at Adonai. Let the sea roar and everything in it. If we don't see, the rocks are going to cry out. Go to the ocean. And listen, I mean, the power of the waves. The ocean isn't my favorite place. Don't get me wrong. It's beautiful. It's powerful. I love the mountains. But man, you can feel the ocean. You can feel the roar. You can feel the wave moving. You can hear it and see it and feel it. It's powerful. And yet it won't cross a boundary because he said it. Isn't that something? Yehuda became God's sanctuary. Israel is his domain. Has that changed? Nope. Not to us, Adonai, not to us, but to your name give glory because of your grace and truth. Oh, grace and truth. Grace and truth. Grace and truth. Before we can have the, the spirit and truth, we got to have grace. Then we can walk in the spirit. Grace and truth. Why should the nations ask, where is their God? Why should anyone say, where's your God? Go ahead and ask, but I, I'm stepping out of the way. <laughs> right? Okay. Our God is in heaven. He does whatever pleases him. Isn't that good? He does whatever pleases him. Give thanks to Adonai, for he is good, for his grace continues forever. Guess which psalm that is, right? Psalm 118. We do it every Pesach. I mean, every yeah, every Pesach, every Passover. Give thanks to Adonai, for he is good, for his grace continues forever. It is better to take refuge in Adonai than to trust in human beings. Yah is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The sound of rejoicing and victory is heard in the tents of the righteous. Is there victory in your tents? We have solid tents now. Right? You know, we don't have canvas. We have solid tents now. I guess some have still have canvas, but we like to stay in canvas. Yeah, we do like yes, we do yes, we like to go we like to go for um uh, Sukkot, right? And tabernacle in, in, in canvas, yes, yes. Or some of them are, might even be nylon, but yeah. I am thanking you because you answered me. You became my salvation. This has come from Adonai, and in our eyes, it is amazing because he is amazing. This is the day Adonai has made, a day for us to rejoice and be glad. And here you thought it came out of the New Testament. Please, Adonai, save us. Please, Adonai, rescue us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of Adonai. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai. And when all of Israel says, Baruch haba b'shem Adonai, what a day that's going to be. And it's coming. It's coming soon. We bless you from the house of Adonai. You are my God, and I thank you. You are my God, and I exalt you. We give thanks to Adonai, for he is good, for his grace continues forever. My help comes from Adonai, the maker of heaven and earth. You know which psalm that one is? He will not let your foot slip. Your guardian, right, is not asleep. No, the guardian of Israel never sleeps, never slumbers nor sleeps. Oh, Abba, thank you for your humor and thank you for animals and loving us in spite of it, in spite of all of this. You know, I used to think that, that you know, you were having praise with him and worship him. Something broke that, that oh, well, you messed up. No, no. No. <laughs> no. This is called real life, and he told us to go live it. And he told us to make decisions, and I make really bad decisions, you know. I'll probably make some really bad decisions. It's real life. But we still can abide. And, and I cannot, I cannot, I cannot comprehend how a holy God can have relationship with Fallible me. I still can't grasp that. How a holy God bends down and says, Kid, I love you. Yeah, I know you're covered in dirt, uh, mud. Well, maybe you got, you, you might have rolled in a little bit of dung too, but you know, um, right? I mean, you know, the dogs go out and roll in the yard. They're not paying attention whether there's dirt, mud, or dung. I mean, that was the polite way of saying it, I think. I'm picturing myself. <laughs> That's why I'm <laughs> uh, We have to picture ourselves. We have to, okay, we have to picture ourselves. Because if we can't picture ourselves, then we're full of it. Right. <laughs> Instead of rolling in it. <laughs> that 
that was really good. Alba. I don't know if that came from him. That was really, that was pretty funny though. Sorry. Um, but you know, in spite of all of that, he's like, that's on the outside, kid. I'm looking on the inside. And yeah, I know you got a little, I know on the inside you got a little this and you got some funky ideas and you know, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Why? Because I love you. But what? Because you did nothing. We love children. We have baby. We, we love children, not because they ever did anything. Lord, I carried him for nine months and was sicker than a dog. It was hard. It was painful. I was hungry. <laughs> I was sick. answer the question why it's because that's the nature of God and the, I mean by his nature yes the people that love us then it is in his nature yes and, like, and he puts that within us yeah. to be mothers and fathers and if you're not a physical mother and father you are you can be a spiritual mother or father mm -hmm. he puts that nurturing in us he's a nurturer mm -hmm. where do we get El Shaddai he's a nurturer Hmm. Hmm. Hear my cry out and I. Let your ears pay attention to the sound of my pleading. Yah, if you kept a record of sins, who could stand? <laughs> Nobody. But again, like a parent with a child. We love that child, not because the child obeys us, not because the child has done anything for us. They've done nothing. And for years and years and years, all they do is leech off of us. <laughs> and all we, right? I mean, it's, it, we have all the responsibility. We have all the worries. We have to provide everything. They give nothing. They contribute. And yet, did they not bring us joy? Did they not bring us laughter? And did we not love and cherish and adore and lavish on them? Yeah, we did. That's Abba. We need to get that in our head. And at the same time, he's vengeance and justice. I can't explain it to you. But he's 100% all of those things at the same time. He doesn't flip hat. I have to switch hats. You know, I mean, I used to have kids that would come to me. All right, am I wearing the mom hat or the friend hat? Not mine, not my flesh. And you know, other, am I wearing the mom hat, the friend hat, the counselor hat? Which hat am I wearing? God's like, come on, I'll figure. Come on, I'll just come on. <laughs> I'll take care of it. You don't need to worry about what hat I'm wearing. I'm wearing them all. Mm. And he loves me still. See, I want to be on the child side, not on the outside of the camp, not accepting him side, because they face wrath. They face judgment they face vengeance i don't get that i get discipline because he disciplines those he loves i get adored i get grace upon grace upon grace upon grace upon grace and mercy and truth that i do not deserve and he lavishes it on me who could stand but with you there is forgiveness so that you will be feared Rev revered, not <gasps> over here. They should be, <gasps> and they're not. That that that's what blows me away, right? They have, but there's coming a day where they're gonna go. Oh, <sighs> I want to have my melt in the pavement now. I want to submit now, not then. Right? Okay. I wait longingly for Adonai. I put my hope in his word. Everything in me waits for Adonai. More than guards on watch wait for morning. Because, you know, oh, is this long night ever going to be over? I'm getting tired. More than guards on watch wait for morning. Israel, put your hope in Adonai. For grace is found with Adonai. And with him is unlimited, 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 beyond comprehension it does not run out it is not exhausted it will never stop redemption okay he will redeem israel from all their wrongdoings let me reword that we're grafted in 
Sherry, I'm going to redeem you from all of your wrongs. Wow. Does that give me license to go out and, you know, I'm under grace right now, though. I, I can go do whatever I want. <laughs> Please. That's so contrary to scripture. So contrary to scripture. Okay? See, I mean, New, I'll, New Testament. If you love me, thank you. I keep myself calm and quiet. Oh, boy, that's a, oh, I had to go there. <laughs> Keep myself calm and quiet. Turn the video off. That's not calm. That's not quiet. Turn the video off. Turn the recorder off. Don't play the what if, woulda, coulda, shoulda. What a waste of time. I wasted a lot of time. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Till I learned how to turn that off. I'll tell you how to turn it off. You start praising and focusing on him and you can't. Think about what it could have, should have, okay? okay? And if you have a brain like me, I'm so sorry if you do. I apologize. I'm so sorry if you have a brain like mine. So sorry. You oh, God, you have such a sense of humor. Lord have mercy. So, um, you know, if, if you have a brain like mine where, where you can have 10 separate thoughts going 10 different places out, way out in the universe, way down. I mean, if you have a brain like that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Learning how to turn off 10 conversations is not easy. What are you reading, man? Where are you at? Yeah, where are you at? In the Bible. Psalm. Where? <laughs> Are you all over Psalms? I'm all over Psalms. Okay. Yeah. I'm all over Psalms. But this particular one is, uh, I keep calm and quiet, is 131. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you, I'll, I'll actually give you a copy of these okay. if you'd like them. Okay. Um, yeah, you all over. I am all over. That's that's the nature of this. That's, that's my brain. <laughs> that's, I mean, if you, I, I. When you learn to speak all over, you know you can name it. <laughs> That's how God speaks to me. Um, my brain, I, I've come to understand that my brain is not the typical brain. It's a gift. <laughs> For the longest time, I didn't see it that way. Um, because my mind explodes and I see things from so many different facets and so many different perspectives. But I only want to focus on one perspective, his. But yeah, my my brain works a little differently than other people's brains. So, um, and and it can be going all sorts of different directions and being doing all kinds of different things all at the same time, and you would never know what was going on in my brain. I could sit here and have a conversation with you and still hear what she's saying and what this one's saying, and probably somebody outside the window. <laughs> Sorry, did I just reveal too much? Um, yeah, I and, and and still be doing a math equation in my head. So when it says focus and pay attention, Sherry's like, I'm telling you, not something I'm not telling I, I'm not I'm not telling you to do something that I'm not striving for. Okay? Sometimes I have to turn the channels off. Sometimes I, you know, focus for me, um when I'm reading the word, sometimes I need to hear the word, but then I have to be doing something. And I'm not going to tell you, I would not suggest you doing that because you can't focus in it. Okay. So that's why I constantly say, don't ask, don't try to hear God the way I hear God. And I'm not going to try and hear God the way you hear God. The way I go about doing things isn't necessarily me saying to you, oh, yeah, do it like this. No, because that's how he speaks to me. That's how I absorb information, not how you absorb information, okay? So for the longest time, I would beat myself up because I wasn't like everybody else. I couldn't just sit and concentrate on one thing. What's wrong with me? I'm not focusing. Why can't I pay attention? God, what's the matter with me? And yet 
comes all of this out and was like, where'd that come from? Because <laughs> it was going in. Okay? I process things differently. You process things. Not, none of us processes things the same way. Okay? So, if you have a brain like mine, I'm sorry. My well, <laughs> and, 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 and mine has. You know, start, you know, you're, you're in, in a different decade now, and, and I have slowed down considerably, which still frightens some people. <laughs> but um, it is different. So every area of life, every season of life, every, it's different. So we should, we're all different parts and pieces of the body. So let's not try to be like each other. Let's try to be like him and let him work in us the way he created us. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay. So I keep myself calm and quiet. That one's not always the easiest for me. Because, um, but I have learned quiet. Of course, right now I have this ringing, and I know you're going to take it away. And it's not in my ears, it's in my head. Because, you know, you can have ringing in your, the, the wiring in your brain could be doing something crazy, and you think you're hearing it, but it's not, it's not an ear problem, it's a brain problem. So, um, so I'm hoping for quiet there. You all pray for, with me on that one, okay? I'm just thanking him. I'm just thanking him someday it's going to be gone. It's just going to be clear. So I keep myself calm and quiet. That's 131. Israel, put your hope in Adonai from now on and for what? That's right. See, she knew. For Yah chose Yaakov for himself. He chose. Just like he chose you. We just answer the call. That's our choice. Okay? That's, on, that's up to us to answer or not to answer. Israel has his own unique treasure. He chose the echo of Israel as his own unique treasure. I know that Adonai is great, that our Lord is above all gods, little g. Adonai does whatever pleases him. That's twice now in two different psalms, right? In heaven, on earth, in the seas, in all the depths. Adonai, your name continues forever, your renown, your reputation. Adonai through all generations, for Adonai will vindicate his people. He does it, not us. He will take pity on his servants. Why? Because he loves us. We're his children. There is nothing with that a child... Is there anything a child can do to separate your love that you would disown a child? No. Not if you're a real parent. No. Can they betray you? Yeah. Can they do stupid stuff and like, oh, I didn't teach you that. Yeah. But God will never deny them. They can break your heart. Still love them. Um, and I'm glad you said that because repentance should be a daily thought, a daily action, sometimes moment by moment throughout the day. Repentance needs to be an attitude that we carry. And the second we don't have that, and, and the more of that attitude of repentance that you have and the more of the praise you have, I can guarantee the more love of his love is going to flow out of you. But if you don't, huh? Yeah. And if you don't have a forgiving heart, if you don't have that, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Restore to me the joy of my salvation. You see where the, where's the root of that? Create in me a clean heart. If it's not your focus every day, okay, fix me, change me, line my heart up to yours. You can't love because you can't give forgiveness. You can't give mercy. You can't give grace. Okay? Comes from forgiveness. Don't hold. And if unforgiveness will take you the opposite way into bitterness. And hatefulness. Well, if I did that, and if it were me, ay 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 ay. <laughs> if all I hear is me, myself, and I, I know you're. Not, I, I know where you are. It's not where you're supposed to be. That doesn't even take discernment. Sorry. 
Adonai, your name continues forever. You're renowned through all generations. You will vindicate your people. You will take pity on your servants. Adonai, blessed be Adonai of Zion. He who dwells in Jerusalem. Where does his name dwell? In Jerusalem. Okay. We say Jerusalem. There's no J in Hebrew, so I say Jerusalem. Same. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Same. Okay. Give thanks to Adonai, for he is good, for his grace continues forever. Oh, there's another one, 136 and 118. They have the same. And he brought Israel out from among them. His grace continues forever. He brought them out of where? Egypt? Yeah. Out Egypt, the world. He brings us out of the world. We still have to live in the world. Okay. But not of the world. Words are very tricky. Words are very important. I told somebody this week, flew right out of my mouth. We walk by faith in reality. Okay? I can have all the faith in the world. I still got to I still gotta do something. Dinner's not gonna fix itself. D dinner oh by fa oh dinner's gonna be I'm I'm gonna go over there and dinner's gonna be on the table. That's not reality. Faith says he's gonna provide and give me the skills and whatever, and I'm going to have something to be able to fix. Because I still have to do. That's what he told you. He told us to do. Okay. So I am going to walk by faith in reality. Okay. His grace continues forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven for his grace continues forever. Hallelujah! It's an exclamation point. How good? I know. You know, get loud. Be loud. Be bold. Be courageous. How good is it to sing praises to our God? How sweet, how fitting to praise him. Adonai is rebuilding Yerushalayim. Yes, he is. It's coming. Mm -hmm. The new Yerushalayim is going to come down. Gathering the dispersed of Israel, he heals the brokenhearted. Oh, for those crushed, bruised, broken, betrayed hearts. He heals. And he binds up their wounds. Mm -hmm. That means you got to clean it out. You don't just wrap a wound. Okay, to bind a wound, there's a whole lot behind that. You clean it. You pick out the dirt and the splinters and maybe something that's not in place. You, you put a bone back in place or you put, you put things back in place and then you put some salve on it, some healing balm, healing balm, and then you wrap it. Mm, there's care. It's messy. Oh, it's mess. Life is messy. Ain't a cakewalk. Life is messy. Our Lord is great. His power is vast. His wisdom beyond all telling. Adonai sustains the humble but brings the wicked down to the ground. He takes no delight in the strength of a horse. No pleasure in the speed of a runner. We put value in athletes. We pay more than soldiers or policemen. How backwards are we? Adonai takes no pleasure, or excuse me, Adonai takes pleasure in those who fear him revere him, adore him, awe of him, okay? That's where he takes pleasure. And those who wait for his grace, glorify Adonai, Yerushalayim. Praise your God, Zion. He brings peace within your borders. He gives you your fill of the finest wheat. And he sends his word out over the earth. His command runs swiftly. Forget the horse. His word runs. His commands run. His instructions run. Hallelujah. Praise Adonai from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Young men and women alike, old men and children. There's no distinction. None whatsoever. There's no distinction. Let them praise the name of Adonai, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. He has increased the power of his people. He's increased our power. If we what? Abide in him. It's not ours. It's just like the giftings he gives, right? The fruit of the spirit or the, the gifts of teaching or prophets or evangelists or what, you know, what a healing, all of those. They're not my, they're not ours. They're his. They're gifts he's lavished on us. Okay. Granted praise to all his faithful, to the descendants of Israel, a people close to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing to Adonai a new song, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let Zion's children take joy in their king. Are we grafted in? We are. 
Let them praise his name with dancing. What? Oh, they weren't. This was not written to the Baptist church. <laughs> Just saying. Or the Lutheran church. or the, Okay. It wasn't written to a denomination. But it was written to his church. His people. Right? Okay. Let them praise his name with dancing. Make melody to him with a tambourine and with a lyre, the musical instrument. For Adonai takes delight in his people. Joy and celebration is a wonderful thing. We had a wonderful celebration on Pas Passover, Pesach. You know, was it marking something wonderful? Well, deliverance from Egypt, yes. The death on the cross, not so much. I mean, do we joy in it? Yeah, because it saves us. But we still celebrate. And he was here in that celebration, right? There was a lot of joy going around that Passover, was there not? <laughs> uh. For he takes delight in his people. He crowns the humble with salvation. Let the faithful exult gloriously. Let them sing for joy on their beds. That struck me as funny. Those who are sick in their bed. Those who maybe who are crippled. Those who maybe have to stay still. Those who, right? Lying on your bed doesn't necessarily mean you're the most, most healthy or young individual. Thank you. Let the faithful exult gloriously. Let them sing for joy on their beds. So wherever you are, in what condition you are, maybe you are lame, maybe you can't move, maybe you have a handicap, maybe you, whatever, I don't care, it doesn't matter. Sing for joy on your bed. Let the high praises of God be in their throats but a two-edged sword in their hand. What is that? And you thought that just came out of Ephesians. <laughs> it's a two-edged sword. To carry out vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples, to bind their kings with chains and put their nobles in irons, to execute the judgments decreed for them, for this will glorify all his faithful. Hallelujah. Meaning, praise the Lord. So that was from... Psalm 14 to Psalm 149 and all those, anything that had to do with Israel. So it's a, we can pray it. I know I read it to you, but you can also pray it over Israel and those grafted in, right? Okay. It's full of, did, it was full of praise. Were there petitions in there? There were. Don't forget us. Come and save. Rescue. Give us strength. Don't let me bring you shame. There's still petitions in there, but there's praise in there. There's also some worship in there. I don't, I'm filthy, but I put my hope in you. Right? There's a lot to learn in the Psalms. Um, which I'm, And I'm glad you bring that up because it's a point that I keep driving. And it's a point that I keep, matter of fact, you're going to hear it today too. Oh, God, you're so good. It's so good. Um, there's certain things that I know that he puts in me that I'm, I'm to nail in. I'm to drive in. And I'm to point. And one of them is our perspective. Our perspective doesn't matter. So when you're judging somebody by a word from your culture and your perspective, get over it. Get over it. Just get over it. You're, you think gangs, ex-gang members speak gang member language. Oh, he would just ruffle church feathers. That's why you can't reach them. That's why you can't talk to them. Get over yourself. He doesn't see things the way we see things, okay? So, yeah, she's a little dirty on the outside. Yeah, she's rolling around in the mud. Might have rolled around in a little bit of dung, too, but look at that heart. Okay? It's the heart of the matter. We want his heart. We want his eyes, his ears, his perspective, okay? His perspective. Okay. His perspective. Ah, but today we praise you. We just, we just glorify you, Abba. You are a mighty God. You are the God of Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. You're the God of my father, Lloyd Hill, and I honor him today, Abba, and I thank you for giving me the father that you gave me. I praise you, Abba. You have nothing but good for us. And sometimes that good is discipline, and we don't like it, but I would so much rather have your discipline than your wrath and your discipline and your love and your judgment. I thank you and I praise you that I can run to you and say, Abba, Abba, Father, Daddy, I'm your kid and you love me. 
In spite of me, you love me. And today we honor you, Abba. Today we praise you, Abba. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your truth. We thank you for your word. Let us glorify you. And as we read today in the Psalms, let us not bring you shame. Let us not cause others to be repelled from you because of us. Instead, let us draw them to you with your love, with your grace, your truth, your mercy, your spirit, by your power, by your gifts. You're an awesome, awesome God. There is none like you. We thank you for Shabbat. We thank you for fellowship. We thank you for your spirit and discernment. And I ask, Abba, today that you would sharpen each one of us here. You will sharpen our gifts. You will sharpen our discernment. You will cause our mouths to be bold in speaking the truth. That you will cause us to stand courageously on your word and use that two-edged sword. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Abba. We praise you today and look forward to what else you have for us today. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear and hearts to comprehend.